Hey everybody, what is up? Wage of Pier, and welcome back to our video. Today we are going to be covering custom floor crafting. I should mention, of course, this is a pre recorded video, so I won't be able to reply to comments right after this video comes up. Um, just FYI, and of course, I won't have my, my sub count in here in this case because of that. Thank you, as always, to Betanoir and Shatter for supporting me on Patreon. Um, if by the end of this you decide that these videos are awesome and if you want to help me support me, and if you want to help support me, go ahead and just click the link in the description below. And uh, yeah. Alright, so we are currently on episode 10, which I decided to actually put sea lanterns around because to kind of highlight that it's a special episode because um, every 10 episodes is, you know, a fairly substantial, um, you know, thing because obviously 10 episodes is a lot of weeks. Um, even though I'm releasing one exactly an episode a week, typically. Um, I decided this time, because I was recently having to help people with custom floor crafting, to redo kind of one of my old 1.11 videos, 1.12, and this is my custom floor crafting video. Now, custom floor crafting essentially means, of course, they could place down multiple uh, items and have them sort of combine into another item if you put drop them on the ground. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Now, this case, in this case, it'll only work with two items, um, but you could, of course, expand the system to make it work with more. And the recipe we're going to have this time, it's slightly tweaked from the last uh, contraption I had, will be one nether star and two golden apples will equal two notch apples. Now, obviously, you could tweak this recipe as much as you want, but the reason that we're doing that specifically um, is because, well, you can't really get notch apples uh, anymore very easily, and um, just uh, it's really easy for me to demonstrate this way damage values. So I'll explain what I mean by that in a little bit, but let's go ahead and grab ourselves our nether star and golden apples, and I will show you here um, exactly how this works in just a second. So you notice here, uh, the final product will turn out like this. What happens, and I'm going to need to turn on my animations, and I think I, there's some sounds with this as well. So let me turn all this up. I don't know how loud this will be to you, but we'll try it anyway. Anyways, what happens is I could drop uh, the Nerf Star into an apples and watch this. There you go. It makes a little noise, summons some particles, and now we have two Notch Apples. Um, and of course, I could tweak that number as much as I want, but it's a fairly simple recipe and it works really well. So let's go ahead and take a look as to how to create this yourself. Okay, so first off, uh, I should mention how many command blocks you're going to need. You're going to need three repeating command blocks and four chain command blocks. Now I'll go over all the settings you'll need for them once I get to them. But we're going to start with the first two repeating command blocks. So you're going to have two repeating command blocks, each with uh, these commands. Them. You're going to do scoreboard players tag, add e type equals item. This part will be the same every time, add item one, because this is the first item we're crafting. And then in these curly brackets, we have item because we're saying, hey, you know, this is the item's information um, that you're going to uh, target specifically. And it'll only work if it's another star um, and there's exactly one of them. Now, I should mention, if you go, if you want to go ahead and um, see all of the commands, I will have a pastebin link probably down in the description. If I don't have it there, I'll have, I do actually have it on my last floor crafting video and it'll be almost exactly the same. But um, I am, as of course, pre of course, pre-recording this, so I don't have a ton of time to update the description. Anyways, the next one we're doing a very similar thing. We're going to say tag item, you know, tag ID type equals item, add item 2. So we're adding a tag on it called item 2. Um, and basically what these tags are going to do is let us select that item specifically. Um, and it just makes it a lot easier. Then we're going to say select uh, the item as long as it is a golden apple and a damage tag of 0 with a count of 2. So that means there will be two of them. And the damage check is zero. Now, if you do F3, I believe it's H, um, you'll notice, right, this is what it would typically look like. If I press F3H again, we could see all this information we mouse over the golden apple. So uh, you'll notice the golden apple's damage tag, which is the thing uh, where after the slash is zero in this case. Now, if I look at god apples, or not god apples, that's not technically what they're called. They're just called golden apples. Um, you'll notice the, da the damage value is 1, so that's what that damage thing does, and nether stars have no damage value, so you don't really need to do anything about that there. Um, you may just end up confusing it. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start looking at this chain. Now, first off, these command blocks should be on repeat always active, or if you're triggering them with redstone, then just have two redstone blocks on them and needs redstone. Um, and anyways, we're going to start off with one repeating command block here. 
And this repeating command was going to have the command execute id type equals item one, so can, you know, taking item one specifically, um, and we're having it execute um, at its location. Or sorry, we're we're taking the first item and basically making sure the first item exists. Then also making sure the second item exists if it's right next to it. Then we're gonna have um, a red dust particle. Uh, essentially, it's just using the particle command. Of course, if you want to know how to use particle command, I, particle command, I do have a couple of videos on that. And same for execute. Um, this is obviously more advanced than most things. And this uh, command block should be on repeating, always active, and facing into the rest of your chain command blocks. So next, you're gonna have a chain command block coming off of it with all the effects you want. So the first one, these are all gonna be chain conditional, always active. So we're gonna have execute ID typical item one, and basically all the commands you're gonna have here are gonna start with execute item one next to item two, essentially to shorten up. Uh, this is just adding the lightning sound, that the thunder sound almost that you heard earlier. Then coming off of that, we have the same thing, but we're going to actually create the item. Um, so we're gonna do summon item. Golden apple damage one s and count two b. That means we're summoning two notch apples just like that, um, and fairly simple. Then we're killing item one, um, essentially meaning the first item, which would be I believe the nether star. I could be wrong though. We'll go ahead and go to the void, um, and same for item two. So it's actually really simple when you look at it. It's just a couple of very long commands. So of course, if you have any questions about how this works, you need any help, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. I may not get back to your comment immediately if it's in the first probably week or two of this video releasing, but I will still try and get back to your comment um, as soon as I can. Um, of course, uh, thank you for however many subscribers I am at now. Um, as I'm recording this video, I think I'm getting closer to 650, and I wouldn't be surprised if I'm at 650 by the time this video comes out. I haven't recorded a special there, so I have to pre-record one, or maybe I won't have time. We'll see. Um, and of course, thank you to Beta Noir and Shatter on Patreon for supporting me. Uh, those people are awesome, and I highly appreciate their support. All right, once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I release content like this every week, covering every single Minecraft command and a bit more advanced stuff occasionally, like this. Uh, and yeah, once again, I hope you have enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Bye!